Hey everybody and welcome to today's video in which I will be unboxing the brand new Warhammer starter set, the Carrion Empire. So stay tuned and we'll get a look and see what's inside this box. Alright, so here we go. Carrion Empire, in human horrors clash over ancient glories. Right, so this box roughly came in at, I think, between 85 and 90 euro for me because I got it through Element Games. Which, I, I don't know how they make money because all their Warhammer stuff is so much cheaper than anywhere else. And they're really reliable, so I'd recommend checking out the links below um, to visit Element Games. They're definitely worth a look. Um, so it's a new starter box for Age of Sigmar. Uh, we have the Carrion Empire against the Skaven with two new exclusive models for this uh, Abra... Abhorrent... Argentant? I don't know, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that anymore But we have the new kind of the Ghoul King model which is awesome looking And then for the Skaven we have the Bombardier model um, You're also getting three Storm Fiends, a Doom Wheel uh, a warp lightning can which can be used as a plague claw catapult um, we have three cryptars, three vargeists and 20 crypt ghouls now i have all the models in this except for the two exclusive ones and the doom wheel the doom wheel is a new model to me and i can tell you firsthand all the models that i have with this are extremely detailed um, these are some of my favorite models out of Age of Sigmar altogether um, big fan of the Crypt Horrors, Vargas are okay, and the two fond of the winged arms um, Storm Fiends are awesome, Warp Lightning Cannon is pretty good and the Doom Wheel looks like a massive pain in the ass to paint because there's so much details in it but um, the, the savings alone in this box is massive, I'm going to do a separate video on that so stay tuned for that at some point and let's just have a look at it right the first thing before I just, I just ignore that for a second the first thing I want to show you guys is this box is heavy right it's like um, blood ball box heavy because the board is so heavy but there's so much stuff in this it doesn't even close down properly and I this is like packed back up exactly the way I got it but it doesn't even come down to the bottom because there's so much stuff packed into this box it's crazy so we'll start off we got two bags of bases and um, here are your two Hero models, which one is this? This is the Bombardier, which I'm going to look at these in better detail at the end of, or near the end of this video. And here you have the Ghoul King with that amazing scenic base as well, or that scenic kind of base he has on. And um, this is probably my favorite model from it so far, simply because its pose is awesome. And um, here we have let's have a look at this tree sprue one first. This is the warp lightning cannon or you can use it as a plague catapult I'm gonna put it as a plague catapult because I had just built a warp lightning cannon so I wouldn't mind having a plague catapult as well and um, that's a really cool detailed model to have let me try and put these back or set these up the way so I can just throw them back in here are the Vargeists I'm pretty sure that's what they're called now in Age of Sigmar and the best thing about these models is you can either make the Vargeists or you can make the crypt tires which means you are going to get a ton a ton of spare bits left over which is awesome because you get wings you get some like uh, arms and stuff like that so plenty of conversions to be made out of that that was two sprues here's two more with more details on them actually I think that one's the exact same I think they are I think they're the exact same sprues and there you have two more this is the doom wheel which I'm, I was gonna say I'm surprised it's only on like two sprues, but here's another one for it. Uh, this thing looks like an absolute pain to put together. There's so much stuff on it. Um, lots of little rats in it as well. So if you're wanting to do your giant rat models, there's plenty of uh, spare parts in this to go with it. But it, it looks like one of those like crazy war machines that only Skaven can get away with. I love this flag that comes with it. This kind of banner, kind of pendant thing. But I'm, look, I'm really looking forward to putting that model together. I'm not looking forward to painting it because it's going to be a pain in the ass. But I'm looking forward to putting it together. Here are the Storm Fiends, which I'm going to be taking my time with these guys because I'm thinking of like just changing some up to have like a like a rat ogre instead of a Storm Fiend. So I might have a lot of spare bits left over for conversions later because I want to try and get the guy with like the most plain body, which is probably here. 
which I think is this guy, yeah, his body is, you know, there's not much stuff on it, his back hair looks pretty plain, uh, oh no, this one, this one here, you're not going to get much more kind of less muddled up than that one, whereas compared to this one, he has his big uh, Iron Man slash Tony Stark thing in the center of his chest, which maybe, maybe you could do something cool with that. And then, of course, you have your Crypt Ghouls, which I love these models. And these are the type of models where you just change the heads. You put scaven heads on them, put uh, human heads on them, and it works. Everything just works with these guys. You can trim some parts off if you really wanted to. But I'm delighted I have 20 more of these because uh, it can definitely give me a chance to get some conversions up. Now, this is kind of a surprise bit of fluff there. Get out. And uh, this is really nice to get. Look at the artwork that... Games Workshop has come out in the last couple of years. Well, they've always had a nice artwork. It's always kind of been black and white though. But this is amazing. I can't wait to put this up. So then the other side, even if you wanted to, you could just put that up and it's still pretty nice. But this one, this is the one I want to go for. That's going to go up somewhere. Somewhere out here in the hobby shed. Full of detail. Every time you look at it, you spot something new. So I really like that. Um, so you have your two books. You have some extra bases here for... Uh, the bigger guys, the doom wheels and stuff like that. Now, it's I haven't bought anything, any new models, any big kits for a long, long time. So a lot of this is kind of new to me. So I'm not sure if they come with everything like this anymore. Or if everything uh, comes with these now. But you have these awesome cards with all your details. Which, like, I remember when people were asking, like, why don't Games Workshop do stuff like this? Because, um, I think War Machine was doing it. So here's your white, uh, wipe. Warp Lightning Cannon card has all your details, all the rules, uh, and one simple, awesome card. The only bad thing is it's not on the front. If it said Skaven on the front, um, that would be a lot easier, but it's just a small complaint. Um, your Bombardier. Now, the Storm Fiends have their own one because they have so many rules, it gets a double card. Um, and these are really good quality. Like, it's fancy, it's glossy, it's like thick card. Uh, doom wheel simply because it has like a little small extra bit of rule there uh, let me see let me see crypt tars have their card crypt ghouls crypt flares uh, abhorrent arch regent aberrant arch regent that's how i'm going to pronounce it but that's the new ghoul king model that I, I just can't wait to put together and then you have your little booklets on how to put together i think it's still amazing that these are in color now it's just a simple little thing, but I just I find it amazing that they're in colour. Uh, full of details how to put them together. Uh, even the tail is separate by the looks of it here. But uh, it looks pretty simple to put together. Couldn't be too much difficulty. Here you have his rules and you have English and French and all that other stuff. Uh, so, let me think. Was there a Bombardier card here? Doom Wheel, Storm Fiend. Yeah, so you get two little sets of rules for the Bombardier. Identical, but it's always nice to have the card. And here you have the Ghoul King himself. Look at that model. That is awesome. I can't wait to put this guy together. He looks... He almost looks pretty simple to put together as well. Six steps. You could probably even put that down to three steps if you wanted to. Um, storm fiends there there's quite a lot of little small bits with these storm fiends to put together they can take you a little while a lot of cleaning up um from bits off the sprue they can take a bit to do but once they're together they're huge they're big they're big thick rat ogres doom wheel god i'm even i'm even dreading opening this book okay so you start off with the big circle the big wheel part and then you kind of fill the insides and um, this looks like a lot of fun to put together a lot of parts look at all these extra rats to get with them awesome uh play claw play claw and warp lightning cannon these are all pretty standard and look at the back of this one whoa whoa look at that there's artwork on the back of this one okay so not all these have painting guides on them let's have a quick check just through some of them so i wonder if no, none of the hero models do, but the Crypt Flares and the Crypt Ghouls and 
crypt horrors all have kind of small painting guys on the back of them like you'd see from uh, like white dwarf and stuff like that which is awesome oh you get crypt crypt flares I keep calling them Vargas but do you get crypt ghouls Painting guy. No, you don't. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. It's kind of weird that they picked. It's kind of weird that they have two uh, crypt flares how to paint here, but they could have just taken out like this one and put in the crypt horror. Although I suppose it's just the same color scheme as the crypt ghouls as well. So there you go. Um, finally, oh wait, I forgot about this. You have these little tokens. Um for whatever special rules they have. I'm not going to try and bullshit my way through a uh, game because I'm not a player. Um, but they talk like command points, your rulers. Um, these I think are for uh, special rules for whatever kind of ways you want to play. So they're awesome. Then we have the core rule book which is a lot thicker than four pages of what we usually see. But uh, it will be, it'll be beefed out a bit more. Uh, for the starter box, you have allegiance abilities. I need to read up on all this stuff because um, I'm gone very lazy with rule, re rule reading. Uh, just because I simply don't play the game, but it's still nice to keep up with it. Um, this is kind of the fluff book, I'd say. Is that what I'd call it? Um, I haven't had a chance to read through this fully yet because I'm still reading the Skaven Battle Tome. But I really want to get through this because I'm dying to know about... Uh, the flesh eaters, I want to know about their history and everything. But uh, the artwork in this is awesome. And uh, the for uh, what do you call them? Flesh eater courts is really nice. The shadow of Nagash, the verminous war, rise and fall. So hopefully, all this accumulates to the two of these fighting and a big story in it. Uh, beneath the fractured skies and towering ruins of metal Lurgisia. Oh, so there's some sort of the battle there. Well, this is a uh, the picture of the artwork that we get, which is really nice. Look at this, the flesh eater, of course. Look at this ghoul king. I know there's a bit of glare on it, but that image is so cool. Sitting on his throne, uh, the scaven get the new bombardier, which is really nice. And um, then just kind of like painted pictures of the models uh, on the battlefield and stuff like that, which are always really nice. Um, as usual, that's kind of what you'd expect from Games Workshop. You get a good look at the Storm Fiends here. These guys are huge. They're way bigger than what you think. They're massive. And it shows the little kind of brain scaven at the back here. I, and I can't remember if it's on all of them or just one of them. But I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to make sure we get a good look at this guy. Yes, yeah, it's one of these things that's like... I've never read up enough about it. I don't know if there is a whole lot of information on these little kind of brain scaven guys. Get a couple of pictures. Uh, War into the Darkness. I have battle plans. Uh, it's going to go through war scrolls and stuff like that. So, Breach Breach. Thieves in the Night. Sneak Sneak. Steal Steal. And here you have your uh, war scroll battalions. So you have Skatchinks Warp Coven. Which is the Skaven side. Then you have the Arcast. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna call this the Flesh Eater Court side. Um, but there you have their own uh, battalion. And there you have the rules again, which kind of goes over everything. So you have like all together nearly three sets of rules that are all the same. Storm fiends, pitch battle, and that's it. Uh, I definitely want to read through this to get the story, uh, which kind of is exciting. Um, so the box is awesome. It's really good. Uh, definitely a money saver. A lot of a lot of amazing models. Like I, you'd say this with almost every kind of starter set, but you're getting storm fiends. You're getting crypt ghouls, which are kind of like um, for hobbyists instead of players. They're like an extremely reliable uh, unit to get bits from, to build upon and stuff like that. Doom Wheel, which I have no idea about, but it's going to be fun to put together. 
uh, Vargas and Crypt Horrors. Um, very familiar with them. Awesome kit. You get a lot of spare parts in it. That's why I love them so much. Um, that's a Doom Wheel piece. And then the Warp Lightning Cannon, which is usually, which is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. I thought it would have been way bigger. Um, obviously, you can have it like different ways. Um, I chose to have it this way, but you can have it this way and have it up at the top here, so it'll be taller and stuff like that. But and obviously, there's wheels to one as well. Let's have put the wheels on. Um, but I'd imagine there's going to be a lot of fun bits left over from this. Um, and then, of course, we have these two guys: the Bombardier and the Ghoul King. Let's have a let's have a best let's have a close look as best we can at the sprues. Let me get these lights down so maybe I can kind of make that shadow a little bit better. There we go. So we have like obviously the main body piece here. Um, his backpack, which yeah, it's, it has the usual scaven bits in it. Um, kind of the pipes and it looks like a boiler and almost like a boiler on his back. Well, like you'll have the smoke and everything, and there's the doom rocket itself, which I'm kind of happy to see the doom rocket making some sort of comeback. I'm um, trying to get a look at his head. There's his head right there. See if that'll focus right on his head for me. Because he seems to have like something over his eyes. He has like the helmet on this side. And then on this side he has kind of like these like vision enhancers or something like that. And then the ghoul king, whose name I keep butchering. He is, am I butchering this? Eight, I think roughly. Um, so you can kind of get the gist of the whole body on this piece. That's kind of the size. He's going to be leaning off this kind of broken tower part or broken wall. And yeah, a bit of a wing on this arm. The other arm has that as well as kind of a small bit of a, like a glider wing maybe. I'm not sure if it's going to let him fly or not. But um, yeah, this box is highly impressive. It's heavy. It's a whole sea of grey plastic which will be getting built well the majority because I know what I'm wanting to do with a lot of these some of them want to leave them until I need parts but overall this box is awesome 125 euro but go to element games you get it between like 80 and uh, what was it 80, between 80 and 90 85 and 90 something like that including postage um, which was awesome I love the artwork. Like every, it's like every time you look at it, as I said, there's something new. There's like a like a Crypt Flare's ass in the background there. Here you have like the Ghoul King jumping down. Um, I'm trying to see is the Bombardier. There's the Bombardier right there. Warp Lightning Cannon. There's a Doom Wheel. Uh, Crypt Horror. Crypt Ghouls. And I think that's everything that's in the box. It looks awesome. I love the background. Looks like a big mighty war coming in. You have like a clan rat there, even though the clan rat's not in the box, but you have to put clan rats in it. Um, so anyway, let me know what you guys think of this box. Have you got it? Will you be getting it? Or maybe you're just not bothered, but you just want to see what was inside of the box. So um, the next video I'm going to be doing on how much money you save with this box, and then I'm going to be doing a couple of uh, let's build, because I want to get especially the two heroes built up, and probably the Doom Wheel next, simply because I haven't put it together yet. So I'm really looking forward to that. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure to leave a comment below. Hit the like button if you haven't. And subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I highly recommend getting this box. And hopefully you guys will get it too as well. So once again, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.